I wanted to hear your guys' adoption stories, so I found a few on Reddit, and I'm going to share them. Um, totally blindsided, so I don't know if they'll be good or bad. I hope they're all good. And just as a disclaimer, um, also trigger warning, if there is any kind of abuse, ab ab you know, AB that has happened to these animals, I don't know if I could say that on YouTube, because there are, it's kind of confusing to me going from TikTok, you can't say that word, and YouTube, I don't think you can, but you know what I mean, um, so I just wanted to read these, I thought these were really sweet, and if you wanted to email me your adoption stories, please, 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 I'd be happy to read them, um, just my email will be attached below. Okay, so number one, I went into a rescue to meet a dog, or I went into a rescue to meet a dog I saw online. Got there and she adopted. Then I saw a puppy got everything ready. And went back a day later to meet it. As I was in the waiting room, my dog came careening in after being rejected on the test block. She ripped out the, <laughs> the leash out of the handler's hands. She sniffed around and made a beeline for me. She crawled into my lap and just sat there like, okay, let's go. The rescue was very honest about what they know, what they knew behavior-wise, but they hadn't had her very long. She was part of a program that brings shelter dogs up from the south, so she had basic temper temperament testing, but nothing extensive. But everyone was honest about what they knew, though. It wasn't much, and I could see some things from her behavior. They were also honest that she was not housebroken and had soiled her enclosures in the rescue. Uh, adopting her was wonderful and hard, but completely worth it. I feel really lucky to have her curled up on her side of the bed right now. Oh, that's sweet. When was this posted? So two years ago. I wonder how she's doing now. Um, it is cute. I mean, yes, she shouldn't have ripped the the leash out of her handler or like gone so far but she knew who her new owner was and that was cute because I think you meet them first before you go before you get one right before you get that um you're supposed to anyways meet them first in person unless you're like from out of town then it might be a little different story number two I adopted my dog from a county pound in the south almost 10 years ago as a county pound in oh pound sorry as a county pound in the south they were more or less willing to hand over any of their dogs to me on the spot no questions asked as someone adopting from a county pound in the south i had no expectations for the understaffed shelter workers to spend hours matching me with the perfect dog along every every possible dimension to maximize our chances of success i had set an alert for the breed I wanted a pet harbor and first saw my dog there. He was an 11 month old owner surrender. When I went to visit him, he jumped up on his kennel at me expectantly. And when I took him out into the yard for our meet and greet, he seemed to be so stoked about his brief respite from his kennel that he zoomed around at the, the yard at top speed. He was so fast and his stride was so graceful and athletic. I was specifically looking for a marathon training buddy at the time, so right when I knew he was the one whose adoption fee was $85, which probably didn't even cover the cost of his neuter. This was my first dog, and I just so happened to luck out that this guy was pretty per pretty much perfect. I adopted him on a Friday and left him alone to go uh, left him alone at home to go to work with the fall uh with the following Monday, with no issues whatsoever, no crate, just give him free run of the house, yes, in hindsight, that was incredibly ill-advised, but hey, it worked out. He walked perfectly on a leash from the get-go, and he never once had an accident indoors. He loved every human and dog he met, and was incredibly outgoing and confident, and boy, could he run. He needed no working up to the kind of distances uh, I wanted to run, and he was already running half marathon distances with me a month or two after adoption with energy to spare after I couldn't have asked for a better first dog. That is awesome. Um, what do you guys think of crating your dogs? I, we've crated ours most of our lives, except for Dodger and Davey. Those are the only two I grew up with. I don't believe we're ever crated. And 
personally, I think it's because of um, just the behavior and the other animals we had had in the past. So I'm not too sure about that. Um, I can't remember. I think I feel like we did create Dodger, but only for like like little reasons, like going going for dinner or something. But he was a very well behaved dog. All the other dogs we've been having for some reason are not well behaved. I don't know what what is going on with them. Um, one is not is really hard to be. A, she's not necessarily meant to be a family like a pet. She is a working dog. That's the breed she grew up in. So maybe that's why sometimes it's harder for her. But she's gotten better over the years. Whereas Teddy, he's still a puppy. Um, okay. But we do crate them because um, one's a puppy and one's a little older. So we just want to just be keep it safe between the two and everything. They're not aggressive with each other um, or anything. But he just... She, she, I don't know. He takes things and steals things and eats things, and I don't want that happening. Ivy, I think, would just relax and chill but and sleep for most of it, but sometimes she'll whine to go in the back lane, and I really don't want to deal with that all the time. I don't mind once in a while, but all the time, no. Okay. I adopted a dog back in March. I've had four family dogs since childhood, but this was my first dog as an adult living by myself. I initially emailed a shelter about a three-year-old dog. However, they were kind enough to dissuade me from adopting him by telling me that he needed extra care, time, and adjusting to a new home. He probably wouldn't be suitable for my situation. They then offered me alternatives, and I ended up going with a six-month-old. Some of you are probably thinking, uh-oh, and yes, it was definitely hard um, at first. The first week felt like literal hell. I thought there was no way I was going to manage to take care of her while work while also working i emailed the shelter saying it was rough going but they replied back saying there's an adjustment period for all dogs but just be patient if you look at my post history i also posted on puppy 101 and they pretty much told me the same thing though not as kindly and they were right she settled in relatively quickly she's definitely one of the best decisions i've made in regards to my mental health she gets me out of the house. She's there to greet me when I get home. She's the reason I can get out of bed sometimes. I'm literally glad I adopted her though through the shelter. They literally drove over three hours to deliver her to my house. They gave me a free harness and dog leash. In a couple years, I think I may want to adopt another or even a cat, and I'm definitely going to go through them again. I wish I could adopt a cat. If I could, I would have one by now because they're not as dependent as dogs. They are probably just as expensive as dogs though. Um, if you could tell me one or the other, I'd love to hear that answer if they are more expensive than dogs, because I know dogs are way more needy and they need to go for their walks and they need to have more attention than cats do. Um, but I wanted to be the one to, but I want to like, I, I don't have time for a dog of my own. So we have family dogs that I help take care of, but that's about it right now. And eventually, I would love to get my own adult dog as an adult. Okay. Two more. And then I think that is going to be it. I adopted my mutt girl in June, and she has been absolutely amazing. Great temperament. Training has gone extremely well, just all around easy. And without any of the behavioral issues you sometimes hear about with rescues, we haven't hit teenage stage yet, though, so knocked on wood. She is my first dog and couldn't be any happier. Oh. And the last one, Chihuahua Terrier Mixed Story. I'm coming back to this section because there seems to be a lot more, but I am running out of time, so I just want to get those up. Went to the Humane Society and had an idea of which dog I was interested in. Saw a different dog when I got there and had to meet her. She quietly climbed into my lap while I was sitting on the ground, and I was sold. I took her home that day. She jumped on the couch immediately, which kind of makes me think she had someone's house pup. She had been someone's house pup before she spent the first year being very timid wasn't trait motivated toy motivated or really motivated she just likes to lay next to me at all times she did just fine in her crate when i was at work but when i was at home when i was home she was attached to me so she'd even just sit on my bath mat when i shower 
about one and a half years into having her, came home from work one day and she showed actual excitement. She just kind of ran back and forth on the couch and wagged her tail. She still wouldn't play with any toys, either alone or with me. Three years in a row now. She was wild when she's happy, sprints up and down the stairs in our house, plays much harder with us. She's excited, has a terrible begging problem, and she has a tiny rope toy that she just loves to chew on by herself. It's just been so fun and special to watch her trust her emerge and an understanding of dog life evolve. Learning toys, barking when dad comes home out of excitement. She literally didn't bark for two straight years, which kind of which was kinda of nice. If I knew how to add before and after pictures, I would. That's so cute. Um, I love that. I love stories like that. I'm gonna end there and I'm gonna keep finding other stories, rescue stories, because these are very special. In lots of um, in your guys's in in a, in this world, right? Lots of people don't get. Lots of people don't really, or lots of these animals don't get the love that, um, that lots of that they deserve because of unfortunate events have happened. They were rehomed for dumb reasons, or rehomed for legitimate reasons, or they were put into shelters and. And there's still some out in the street, homeless, not like hungry. So, you know, I want to do everything. I would love to do everything I could to have like a dog sanctuary one day, years from the years from now, but to know that they have a home, they're loved, they're cared for, you know, and they belong in couches, not in the cold. Anyways, I love these adoption stories and I can't wait to read more. I'm going to do this once a month, I think. And yeah, that's about it. You guys have an awesome rest of your day. We'll chat soon. Bye now.